I think if we, let's see if we can make, and we can stagger ourselves if we need to. I'll let you figure, one, yeah, come on in, there we go. See, look at that, we didn't even have to count off. Don't you love it? So, don't worry about, they, I know, but only because you were nervous that he would catch the back of your head. Don't worry about him. <laughs> It's, it's great. It's really curly and clean. There you go. So, so now let's really feel the weight, gravity, right? Isn't it amazing that we, with the force of gravity, that we are standing vertically? It's very, some days it's a little harder than others. So hands by your sides, relax. And now find your feet. You can have your feet a little bit apart. So we really are there. Good. Grounded, and now let's explore this arc of gravity and weight. Now balanced in the horizontal. Now we turn our palms up, which opens the whole of this part of us, yeah? To this arc of light above us, and it's behind us as well. Right up to our star above us. So your weight comes, your heels come off the ground just a tiny bit. You don't have to go up high to feel this. And expanding out, touching this whole sky to the wide horizons. And now let's sink down. We give ourselves over to gravity. Not completely, but a little bit. Oh, good. Get those crackles out. Snap, crackle, and pop. And now pressing down into the earth, drawing up to the horizontal again to balance. This is balance. And now let's draw forward to the center. Yeah, come on right. There you go, you periphery people. You have a center too. Now let's shift our attention to the periphery. Open your wings. And now, ah, opening out behind. Now my darlings, if your chin is down, are you open behind? Isn't that amazing? So just lifting your chin to the middle or just a tiny bit up. We don't have to look up because then we lose ourselves. So just a little bit up. And now again, let's find that common center. Good, yes. We're touching right across the circle. Yeah? And now shifting our attention. Ah, 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 don't be in a big rush. Transitions take a little time. There we go. Expanding out. Good, and now let's draw in. I behold myself. So our hands become like a mirror, yeah? I behold the world. I behold the world in myself. I behold myself in the world. The wishes of the soul are quickened. The deeds of the will wax and grow. The fruits of life are ripening. I feel my destiny. My destiny finds me. I feel my star. My star finds me. I feel my goals. My goals find me, my soul and the world, they are one. Life will be clear around me. Life will be challenging for me. Life will be richer in me. And let's just breathe out a little bit. Now, is there anyone here I forgot to ask yesterday who's never done your with me? Yay! Great, good, because then I can really be, we can start at the beginning for everybody. It's good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the vowel sounds. Okay? We're going to go through the, the archetypal vowel sounds. Ah. Let's all say them together. A, A, E, O, U. 
So right there in our speech organism, we have the <coughs> ah is open, yeah? A starts to come in. E is in the center. O takes us forward. And O takes us beyond ourselves. Okay? So, here we have visible speech in eurythmy. Visible tone and visible speech. Unfortunately, we can't do tone, but maybe we could figure something out next week. A little recorder playing from someone. Um, to do rhythms with music. So, ah, when do we ever say ah? See, the consonants you can't say, except one, you can't say by themselves. They don't really, but little babies, you know, the first thing they do is, you just go ah to a child. You're like your daughter and she goes, <laughs> right? She does ah. And it's the sound of what? Ah. Hmm? Amazement. Amazement, wonder, yeah? That which we are in awe of. You climb finally to the top of Mount Monadnock in New Hampshire or wherever you are. I don't, do you have any mountains Not in Oregon. Kansas? <laughs> huh? No, Not Oregon. <laughs> Yes, yes, no, right. That well, no. <laughs> that would be a, a big no. Okay. Uh, and you finally get there, and I did my training, eurythmy, therapeutic eurythmy training in Switzerland, and there's, you know, the Jungfrau. And you just finally, you're just, you're, or you see at the ocean, you see the, hor the horizon. You know, in here it's beautiful. You know, as I said, driving up a road, and you're look you is this little hill, little hill. And you look like you're driving up into the sky, yeah? And there's this sense of awe and wonder, yeah? And in our modern times, we've lost the sense of awe, you know, and wonder, which is too bad, because it keeps us healthy. And here's why. Come in a little bit. So, And now, you are not going to speak you, with your words. You're going to speak with your arms. So that feeling of awe will go into your gesture. I have to do both because I'm the teacher. You know how it is. So I work on that later. So here we go. And we're going to take a few steps out and open our wings behind because this is where awe is. Awe. And come in. So, ah, is a gesture of opening. We're not streaming out, but we're open, so that which we are in awe, awe of streams into us. Yeah? Can you see that? I'm not streaming out. I'm opening myself to receive. It's a real big difference. So let's try that and open our arms and feel that if there's something you can imagine that you really... Little children are like that. You just look at them and you go, oh, right. Ah. And let's do that again. And now you are speaking with your arms, so you have to, the, the whole process of eurythmy, and this is how Steiner describes it, because there's movement in the larynx, the whole speech organism. You dam up those forces. He literally says, damming up, holding back those forces, and they go out through your gesture. Okay? So, zip it. Here we go. Do it a couple times. Ah. And rest. So you're intoning the sound. Ah. And pause. And I see lots of elbows. Let's see if we can, when we do our gestures, that we don't go into the elbows. Really full extension, okay? Practicing that. Especially for you as teachers. When you stand in front of the children, you have to really practice having your gestures be full of life and being accurate. Otherwise, they'll ap they do this anyway. But if you're doing it as well, you'll never get them to do this. So, now, the next vowel is A, and A is coming in. So we have this gesture of ah, 
And now with A, ooh, we come in. A. Good, and you really have touch there as well. Now in Canada, if people want to, you say something, they're not sure what you're saying, they'll go A, you know. So that's A. A, come again, right? So let's just do these two. Ah, A. Yeah, and keep your fingers together. There you go. Good. Ah, A. And rest. So A is this first, this is the, the gesture all down our spine, the nerves cross. Yeah? And one of the first stages of awakening uh, more finite consciousness, even in a baby, is when they do what? They focus. The eyes focus. And of course, it's usually way out here. And of course, what's going on with the mouth? We'll talk about that later in the week. But um, so A is the first. It's like a, an awakening. I come into myself. And because touch is there, you know what touch does. We're going to talk about that later in the week. It brings us into ourselves, is aware of us in ourselves, yeah? Now that we can be in ourselves, now we can be a self, and that's E. So we're just going to stand first and slowly awaken within ourselves, E. And not up. Keep your eyes straight ahead, okay? E. Good. Nice. And now to do it in a gesture, one side is this longing for the light. So the right hand goes up. Ah, oh, we want to be taken up. Yes, we want to be a very spiritual being. Yes. That's one side. On the other side, the left anchors us down. This is the raw materials. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's the forces of addiction and all other kinds of stuff. We'll talk about another time. But this, And so we're kind of always torn between these two, right? <laughs> I know, all of us are. So you have this tension between longing for the light and being drawn down, right? Connected to the earth. Yee. And in the center is where you manifest yourself. Yeah? The only beings in the universe with choice. So let's do it again, and we'll walk backwards as we do it, which is you need courage to go backwards, because you can't see where you're going. E and forward. We'll do that again. Very good. Don't worry what's behind you. you you'll feel it before you get there. Ready? E Beautiful. And now, Oh, yeah. So we have this beautiful O. Oh. And this O oh gesture takes us forward. It's a gesture of love. Yeah. And it is also, you know, here's love that's balanced. So we create a space for the other. But we don't. <laughs> right? Restrict, it's not restrictive. But we can't truly love unless we're a self to come out of towards that, right? Otherwise, it's all sympathy, but it's not really objective, right? So it can kind of fill the space and leave no room for the other. And we're trying to balance ourselves. So here we go. We'll do E and then O. E. O. Beautiful. And we don't need to look down into our O. We can look straight ahead. Okay, good. Beautiful. And now we do O. Now O is such a prime sound. It gives us this structure. That's connected to Saturn. And I'll tell you all the planets that the vowels are connected with later. So we have this gesture of this parallel quality. Yeah, primal. Of ooh, and don't look up, okay? Because it's a gesture of I'm on the way to the spirit, to myself. Ooh, 
Good, and now we're going to move them. So come in even closer. Get in here. There we go. Excuse me. Would you like to come in? <laughs> here we go. So we're going to start with ah. Uh, ah. Uh, e. Beautiful. Now we're going to move them in space a bit more. So let's make a big circle. Now with the O, what we're going to do is we're each going to make our own little circle. Okay, and here's where the real social eurythmy comes in. Because we have people on either side of us. And you have a camera. So, so what we're going to do is each of us, I want you to picture, it's not on the floor, it's here. Circle around and back to your place. So let's just do it with our hand first. We start to the right and forward, and we're always changing directions. Curves are will forms, okay? Right? You got that? So we're all starting to the right. Ready? Here we go. I'm going to say the sound. Let's not do our arms first. Let's get the rest of us coordinated. So, oh. Now let's take hands. <laughs> I know, isn't this a riot? Well, she's not doing all right. I mean, you know. <laughs> I, we do forms in Eurythmy, big choreography, and the people in the front can't see anybody behind, so everyone has to take the movement from them, whether they like it or not. And there's always somebody at the back going, you know, like move over, and I said, it's okay, but they can't see you, you know. So here we go. We're going to start to the right. Let's see if we can get our all together. Right, and we're curving in, in, beautiful, to the center. Bend your arms up. Ah, ah, ah. There's got to be room for her. Don't be shy. And now we're heading to the left and back to our place. You ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Curving out and around and back to our place. That was a little straight line. Let's see if we can do it again. The back curve is the hardest. And if you have to picture it. And it's not on the floor. When your eyes are looking up, you can perceive the people on both sides of you. Yeah? As well as our dear friends across. Let's do it again. I'll say the sound. Oh, keep going. Oh, yeah. So we have to adjust our form to fit with the other. So let's try it one more time. Hmm? No, let's do it with no arms now. Now, between us, we have invisible arms connecting each of us together. So when I start to move, I can only move because Jared's starting to move. You see? We take an impulse all together. Right? And then when I come to the center, I can only move this way because Dory's moving. Drawing. So we're all... This is a great social quality about Eurythmy. And things you do in the grades, too. A lot of the circle work. It's learning how to do your own, be an individual, but also be part of a group. Yeah, so let's try this. Here we go. We can make the sound O. Oh, don't look down, don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. Oh, not bad. So at the, the last part of the curve from inside out, we have to feel, okay, I'm going this way, but I really want to be there, okay? So we have to always imagine, I'm headed there, but for a moment I'm drawn this way. Now I'm here. Now I'm drawn back. Now I have to be here. So we're always using our will to transform, 
Okay, and now with ooh, we're going to move around the circle a few places and then turn in and meet each other in the center. Okay, so here we go. And breathe out. Lovely. Now let's start from the beginning. <laughs> ah. Good job. I gotta keep an eye on the time. Time goes by so fast, doesn't it? Yikes. Of course, I could do you with me all day with you, so. So. Ah. Eh. Don't speak. Except with your arms. Eh. Now starting to the right. Come on, take that step. Oh, 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 we marvel at the stars raying through realms of space. We can see the glowing orb of the moon and breathe out. Very nice. We're going to build on this and practice things till you feel really comfortable and tomorrow we'll also go through the vowels doing them in a, with a partner which is a lot of fun. So uh, what I'd like to do now is just our little threefold walking and beauty before me I walk, okay? And the shorter people, or shall I say the people my size should be in the front and taller people in the back. So I invite you. It's always funny I, when I teach. Uh, and just remember, you need to be able to put your arms out sideways and forward, okay? And we can move back. You move back. We're all going forward. So you're fine in the back. Don't go any further back. So it's always funny when you're in a group, often the tall people are in front and the people are in back and they're going like this. Trying to see. It's okay. I said, get up here. So we have to know what we need and ask for it. Okay, I'm going to go backwards as you come forward, okay? So, you can start with one foot a little in front of the other for balance and find that place. Now remember with this exercise, one of the things we're practicing is being balanced between tendency to go forward, right, with that back foot lifting up, and tendency to hang back, okay? And also we're doing intention through the whole body to get that rhythm so there's not that hesitation, okay? Or rushing forward. So the whole time, where are we in ourselves? Let's balance, okay? And looking straight ahead because we'll start to work with this soon about the gaze and what that does to our consciousness. Because when you see the children and you stand in front of them too for yourself, you need to know every gesture you do has a certain impulse with it. And you have to know that's what you're choosing to do. <laughs> okay, so here we go. <clears throat> you're coming forward, I'm going backward. In beauty before me, I walk. In beauty behind me, I walk. In beauty above me I walk. In beauty all around me I walk. It is finished in beauty. Good. And take a little step forward, just for you. Yeah, come forward. We're just going to adjust a little bit, okay? Because if you're behind and someone in front of you gets too close to you, it's because you're taking too big a step. So just adjust your steps. We're very good at that. So, lift, carry, and place. You're going backwards. 
In beauty before me I walk. Straight ahead, straight in front. Both feet on the, on the floor. Yep, adjust. In beauty behind me I walk. In beauty above me I walk. In beauty all around me I walk. Feet together. It is finished in beauty. Good. And everybody come a little bit further forward. And we're going to do hallelujah to finish. Okay? So. So. We do a little huh. Now huh is a consonant that is all. You can say it. Put your hand by your mouth. Huh. There's not much going on there, is it? Like. Just a little breath. It's like taking a, one of those little dandelion crowns, you know, with the seeds that's all white, and you just go, and it goes, ha, and dissipates, yeah? So that's what we're going to do into ah, and ah is going to open us to gather. And then we take the L, and we get it stronger, release, yeah? All the way through us till the full L, then we go through the eye of the needle, A, right? Then we do three large L's, yeah, really full. We're out in the universe, but keep your feet grounded. And then we even go beyond with OO. E we do with the left arm because it's more objective than the right, right? So your left arm, this is my left arm. As we always say to the children, know your other left arm. Mm -hmm. And then further with ah, and then we release into veneration behind us. And you feel like you're just filled with the breath of God. And you come to yourself. Okay? This is very healing, not only for you, but the environment. So even to do this in your room before the children even arrive, it's like saging the room without having it smell like you know what. Okay, here we go. Ah, gathering. L, and you can rock a little bit on your feet. L, 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 L. Don't let your hands cross each other. L. L. So it's gather, release. L. 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 Just take 30 seconds, a minute, lie down on the floor, get a chair to sit in, just to let everything imprint before we go off to snack ourselves. Mm -hmm. 